everybody, it's Amanda from the Professional Beauty Team coming to you live from my home, which is a bit surreal. Um, so just wanted to give you a weekly update on things that we're doing. Um, so I don't know if you guys already heard, but we're hosting a virtual beauty week starting from this Sunday, running through to next Friday. Um, the reason we're doing this is unfortunately Professional Beauty London was meant to take place this weekend. And because of everything that's going on with coronavirus, it hasn't. And we know that a lot of you guys are at home now. We wanted to still give you the learning opportunity to see all that amazing education which was going to have at the show. Um, so pretty much we are going to be hosting a week of live webinars um, and all that stuff. And all those key speakers are going to be there and filling you in with lots of amazing information to help you upskill. So really hope that you can take part in that. But we have a special speaker today who's going to be talking about the best facial blends to use on teenage skin, sensitive skin and menopausal skin so i'm just going to bring them in a little drum roll i wish i had it but i don't so fingers crossed this works been having a bit technical difficulty today um but yeah this person who we're bringing in has loads of knowledge in this area and here he is hello oh, matt oh. Taylor from eve taylor hi how are you <laughs> thanks for joining us today matt really appreciate it you are um, so matt is education manager at eve taylor um the aromatherapy skincare brand and today he's going to be giving us some insight into the best blends to use on different skin types. So Matt, it'd be great if you could tell us a little bit about the best blends to use for teenage skin and why. Okay, so for teenage skin, one of the things that they experience the most is excess oiliness. And mm. actually, a younger person is going to think about stripping the skin and removing all of the oil. But we want to have a more of a regulatory effect and to normalize it and bring it back into balance. So mm. we use great essential oil blends, which include essential oils like Ylang Ylang. Yeah. The great thing about Ylang Ylang is it helps to have a regulatory effect. It slows down the sebaceous activity, but at the same time, it also has an anti-inflammatory action. So oh, amazing, yeah. Breakouts around the, any redness around the breakouts, it helps to reduce that and calm it down. Mm. Other essential oils that I could think about would be things like cedarwood, which is anti yeah but also has a great effect on uplifting the mood. So if they mm. feel down about how the skin's feeling, it sort of helps to uplift the senses. And then lemongrass, which is very, very stringent and mm. really deep cleansing for the follicle. Yeah. And obviously, what about for sensitive skin types as well? Because a lot of those clients are a little bit nervous to put stuff on their skin in case they aggravate it. Um, you know, what are the best kind of blends to use for that skin type? And are there any that people should kind of steer away from? Okay, so we've... Sensitive skin, there are different degrees of sensitivity. Mm. We've got an amazing blend called Soothing Aromatic Serum, which is actually our number one best-selling product. And it's got a wonderful blend of geranium, which is very balancing for the skin, so anybody can use it, whether they're oily, dry, if they've got some sensitive. Mm. But it's also got eucalyptus globulus in it. Oh, okay. Great one for having a real cooling effect on the skin mm. tissue, especially if they're experiencing redness or irritation. And then other things like lavender, which is well known and well regarded for being really soothing and calming for the skin. Mm. What I'd say is if the client has got severely irritated, hypersensitive skin, maybe yeah. just using more of like a, a plain carrier oil in the first instance to keep the skin barrier intact and then mm. into essential oils later on. And what kind of blend should therapists be turning to for menopausal clients? Okay, so for menopausal, we've got some great options. Look for blends that include essential oils such as rosewood. Mm -hmm. Rosewood is known as being a cicatricent, so it's very good for regenerating the skin tissues, but it also helps to have, have that comforting effect on the senses. And as yeah. we menopausal ladies do go through lots of different feelings of being overwhelmed, uh, feeling quite low in mood, so the rosewood really helps to uplift the spirits. Mm. Essential oils would be things like galbanum, mm. which by the ancient Egyptians as part of the embalming process of the pharaohs. And we know that it really helps to keep the skin tissues intact. Mm. And things like clary sage, really yeah. conditioning for the skin, but also has a great effect on the mindset and the mood and sort of gets people through the, through the day if they're feeling a little bit, a bit low. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing, Matt. So Matt has been writing loads of amazing pieces for the PB website over the last couple of months. And he's actually done a piece about essential oils for menopausal skin, which you can find on our website. Um, but also Eve Taylor was one of the amazing brands that were actually going to be at PB London this weekend, which obviously we can't host. So they're going to be doing a special offer for everybody who's taking part in PB's 
virtual beauty week. So anyone who's taking part can get up to 20% off product packages with eTailor with free training. Um, if you want to access this amazing deal, all you need to do is sign up to take part in the week. You can find the link in our bio and then you should be able to access that offer from Sunday. Um, but thank you so much, Matt, for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and thank you, everybody who's tuned in. I hope everybody's safe and well, and hopefully we'll all get to network with each other at some point in the future face to face. Um, but now that'll be all that's from us as the PV team. Thank you again, Matt, and we'll see you guys all next week. Thanks so much. See you later.